Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about the different wires that are used in fencing. We'll start with the two pin wire. This wire has three parts. This part has three pins to it and attaches to the reel. This part has two pins and attaches to the blade. Finally, this part attaches to the lame. This wire is used in foil and saber. Another similar wire called a bayonet can be used in foil and saber. These three prongs each connect to a different part of the wire. This first prong, where these two are closer, connects to the alligator clip here, which connects to the lame. The middle prong connects to the smaller of these two prongs on the two pin end. Finally, the prong that's off on its end to the side attaches to the larger of the prongs on the two pin. The voltage is sent from this middle wire to the smaller of the two pin wires. Next, the three pin wire is used for epee only. It doesn't matter which end attaches to the blade and which end attaches to the reel. The two prongs that are closer together electrically connect within the blade. The prong that's further away from the other two grounds out the guard. Each prong connects to its respective other prong at the other end of the wire. Finally, in foil and saber, mask wires are used. One end will attach to the bib, or in saber, could attach to the metal part at any part of the mask. The other end attaches to the lame, which ensures an electrical conduction between the two. And that's all you should need to know about wires for fencing.